at the same time, the day of departure of our colleague, uh, Mahabhav Maharaj. Rushikananda Maharaj, he was in Vinnapur side. He was the disciple of Samananda Prabhu. Samananda Prabhu's history is this, that he first got initiation in Sakkarasa from Hridaya Nanda or Hridaya Chaitanya Goswami near Kalna. Anyhow, he went to see Vrindavan. He came of a non brahmin family, generally cultivated section. <laughs> went to Vrindavan and one day in the more early morning, he is out. Uh, on visiting different holy places. From Nandagram, he is going eastward towards Khadirvam. Suddenly found on the way a, an ornament called Nupur. Uh, the foot ornament of the ladies. Food, or, food ornament of the ladies. He got suddenly found. Eh? Bengal. Bengal. Mm. Nupur in Sanskrit. He has to have the foot <coughs> in this way. Mm. Nupur. Then she, uh, he took it on his mm, bag and being very much uh, surcharged with uh, love divine he is going. Suddenly uh, when looking backside he found that a girl of exquisite beauty uh, she is searching for something there where he got it. Then he came back, asked the girl what you are searching for. Say, hey, an ornament missed here. And then of Radharani missed somewhere here. I am searching for the, oh, I have got it. He handed over. And the girl put that nupur on his forehead and vanished. Uh, and he was beside Simpson, first in it. Uh, I am fortunate enough that I have got. Uh, I have had darshan of the divine themselves of Bajo. Ah. Then he had a thinking in this way. Already he had some Sakkurasa. Sakkurasa training his guru gave him mantam such. He thinking that I, I have got that sort of duty. He's thinking in that way and uh, taking them. But from this incident, a change uh, came in his mind. And his uh, tendency uh, began to grow in favor of Madhura See how beautiful, uh, charming figure they are, what is their duty. At night they attend a rasa ceremony. Uh, and this is 
thinking thus, there was a great change in his mind. And he connected Yoga Sun with such is the condition. My Gurudev, he is in that Russia. But I uh, uh, am finding deep tendency, irresistible towards the service of Madhura Russia. What to do? If Goswami examined him and being satisfied, gave him Diksha in Madhura Russia. Then <coughs> This was mm, uh, broadcasted gradually amongst the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, not only in Vrindavan but in Sri Gaudiya also. If such has happened, the case. His Guru, his Aichyajana, mm, he felt disturbed. What is this? Jiva Goswami, uh, the standard Vaishnava. All words of Rup Sanatan. He did such a uh, thing. Uh, uh, and is, uh, <laughs> against Tukapsi. Samananda was my disciple. Anyhow, he managed to call for a Vaishnava assembly you know, in Vrindavan. <coughs> and there, from that assembly, uh, he called for Jiva Goswami and both Samananda to give explanation for that. Uh, in courteous um, activity. Jiva Goswami did not attend, but he sent Samananda to go. Go attend the meeting, answer their call. Samananda went <coughs> from the meeting, from the committee, uh, the assembly, uh, called explanation. The first matter, you took initiation from Rivai Chaitanya Prabhu? Yes, I did. What was your tilak? At that time it was such and such. Now you have changed your tilak into that nupula. Yes, it is changed. Why and how? He related this story. No, he wanted his guru a desire that his that present tilak will be he faced. He your tilak, present tilak. I can't efface. If you can, you may efface my tilak. They tried, but could not. Then they are really judged. What's the matter? Why such? What is this? Is later the narration. Uh, the story. <coughs> then, of course, they had some uh, awe, reverence. Then he told his another internal story. But when the call for explanation came, he prayed to Radharan. This is the difficulty, what I am to do. Then it is told that Radharan gave him assurance, I shall look after that. So Radharan connected with Subal, the leader of the Sakkarasa in his group. Yeah. One of your servitors, I am taking him. 
you were allowed. And he gladly did so. In this way, that was intimated to reveal to the Subhidai Chaitanya, and everything was compromised, minimized. This is Shavananda. When you came back, these three Narottam Srinivas, Shamananda. These three came back with the uh, bullock cart, where the chest uh, full of books, uh, and that was looted near Bakura, Vishnupur, Bakura. And after trying for many days, for searching out those books, they failed. And then Samananda went to his own country to preach in another side. And Narutman also left for North Bengal mm -hmm. to preach, to mind their own lesson. But Srinivas was the leader of them, in charge of the books. He did not live like a half mad, he was roaming. And anyhow, when the, that was looted by the local chief, Birham Bir by name, he had some affinity for Bhagavatam, and his guru Bash, one, one Bash by name, he used to chant Bhagavatam in his assembly every afternoon. And the Srinivas anyhow came and suddenly, unconsciously, he pointed out some mistake in the reading of Bhagavat, that bash, Vidham Vishnu. Then he was detected, oh, he is not a man, but he is a great genius in Bhagavatam. Then anyhow, they came to know his position, and the, the book was lost. Gantham, all these things came in. And then they told that, well, I have uh, stolen those caskets. And it was shown to Srinivas, and the Vidham Vid also was became disciple of Srinivasa. <coughs> then Samananda, when preaching in Vindapur, he <coughs> got a disciple then Rashika Ananda. <coughs> he was very sincere and his feeling, emotion was so much great, almost uh, after Diksha he began half mad. Uh, and he was preaching uh, the name of Krishna uh, and the Vrindavana, Adila, um, Mahaprabhu, of uh, Krishna as um, by Mahaprabhu. And uh, his sentiments were so deep that he is told by some to be the avatar, Aniruddha avatar. That which is not found in human soul. Such intents were his sentiments. I want the different uh, thought of Vrindavan. He established a not on the uh, western side of Vrindavan district. Gopi Vallabh. Gopi Vallabh. The seat was there. The <coughs> seat was there. And he, he preached uh, uh, in a very uh, intense way. Rashik Mangal, that is a book. It is mentioned there that one day one Fakir. Muslim Fakir, who has some hmm, uh, 
uh, power of showing miracles to the public. He came, the, he heard the name of Rashika Ananda to be a great saint. So he came to test him. He came on the back of a tiger to the ashram of Rashika Ananda. Where is he? I have come to see him. He is a great saint. And at that time, it is told that Rashika Ananda Prabhu, he was uh, rubbing his teeth by a uh, bench, a small bench of twig. tree. Twig. Uh, twig. Uh, twig. And he was sitting on a, a broken wall of, a, of an, a broken room, a garden wall. <coughs> then when it was intimated to him that Paki has come on the back of a tiger, then it is told he eh, asked the wall, the broken wall where he is sitting, the wall, then you have, it is necessary that you should go, you should carry me. <laughs> <laughs> And the wall, <laughs> the wall coming. Uh, and then the fakir came down from the tiger. <laughs> this is animate and he, he can do the inanimate. This is Siddhi. Uh, 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 Rashidananda Prabhu, he was a Shuddha Bhakta. Uh, but this yoga vibhuti, uh, the uh, wall, inanimate wall, was asked to advance, mm, to march on, and the wall did. Uh, that's the matter. Mm. <laughs> then, of course, it is seen, uh, it is, uh, we, it stated, Mukti Shayam Mukuritam Jali Shivati Ismam Dharmatra Kama Gataya Samaya Pratiksha. The Siddhi, Yoga Siddhi, all these things, they only wait for the order of a Vaishnava. Who does not care for Siddhi? But in, if any place such wish uh, may come to them, it is affected. And these things prove, these incidents, if we take to be true, then that theory, as it is very difficult to prove by the science of fossil, fossilism. But what I say, the everything is hypnotism, hmm? and the character of hypnotism, then all is possible. All is possible. Only will force that can show anyone anything. The will power hmm, can create so many thoughts and ideas of our experience. We can explain from that background. Anyhow, Rashika Ananda Prabhu, he <coughs> spread the Mahaprabhu's doctrine in that part of the land uh, extensively. And his devotion was very permanent, permanent and sentimental. Uh, his heart fully melted when he took uh, the name of the Lord or engaged himself in any service. So that's so, that the a section of Vaishnava, they thought he is not human soul, but he is uh, Isharakuti, that he is uh, a function of the Lord himself, 
I'm an art. He's troubled by some allergic down. His day of departure is today. And then the next Jagannath Das Babaji, who is supposed to be the Desha Guru of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And also Desha Guru of Gaudisha Babaji Maharaj. As well as, as well as that of Guru of Charandas Babaji, who was the Guru of Ramdas Babaji. So called Ramdas Babaji, his Guru was Charandas. And Charandas, his Guru was Bhagavad Das. Bhagavad Das and Gaur Kishore Babaji Maharaj, who is Guru of our Prabhupada. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, they took Bhagavad Das and Gaur Kishore Das took their Babaji initiation from Jagannath Das Babaji. And then Jagannath and Bhakti Thakur is also told to have his Besa, the Babaji Besa and the mantra from Jagannath Das Babaji. And also it is told that Jagannath Das Babaji, once he went to find where is the birthplace of Mahaprabhu. And he, he was very old, 125 years old, and crippled. And one hmm, U.P. devotee named Bihari Das, we have seen him. He used to carry him on his shoulders, generally. He one day told that I want to see the birthplace of Chaitanya Dev taken on the other side of the Ganges. Jagannath Das Babaji had got his samadhi here. See, he was taken there and stopped here. Uh, a dig art here mm, the kaji mm, mm, broke the mridanga uh, of many uh, of some uh, householder of, the, of that time who used to uh, go on chanting uh, before Mahaprabhu uh, subdued him. Mm. And some broken pieces of the Ardhan, that Mizanga was found in there. And it is told that was in Siva Sangon somewhere there, like uh, nearby, just Jagannath Das Babaji. So in another way, he also. Uh, located the birthplace of Mahaprabhu on the, the, that side. The Samadhi is this side. Jagannath Das Babaji. Uh, his day uh, of departure is also today. And Madhav Maharaj, you know, he was my god brother, junior to me both in age and also in, um, in junior, uh, 1930, he joined the mission exclusively. He might have seen him as a very young, energetic man. Um, he was very energetic, so much so. Our Guru Maharaj once remarked, that he has got volcanic energy. That mother, mother. Uh, volcanic energy he has got. Very energetic. And he was very dissatisfied uh, with me. And he said always that you must come out for preaching. And for a long time uh, he was in my party. I am Sannasi and he was white clad canvasa mm. and uh, collection 
Rajkunali, he's Rajkunali's responsibility. And, uh, and uh, whatever we collected, we sent it straight to Prabhupada. Then, and Prabhupada was uh, happy to speak. This is my party. My party. <laughs> Anyhow, our preaching was also satisfactory and the collection was. So he was very satisfied with my preaching capacity and reported to Guru Maharaj many a time. Whether any opponent equipped with ancient knowledge of Veda Upanishad, Quran, etc., or a modern scholar with any scientific knowledge may come to oppose, Sri Lord Maharaj will keep the prestige all through our optimism. That was his remark, and especially uh, of my analogy. I could uh, give appropriate analogy to the upper opponents to prove my case. That was some specialist. Uh, special. Your, your use of analogy, uh, you spoke of your use of analogy. Analogy. That was very famous. I was famous for my analogy, accurate analogy. Can you give us some examples? Uh, analogy in every point. However, in difference, I, I try to uh, put my case by giving some analogy. That is my special characteristic. He also, also uh, here, when, when, uh, generally I put some analogy to clear the position of the ontological aspect. Yes. That is my nature. In my shastra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once it happened that in Khudra, one Ramakrishna part, all out of Ramakrishna mission, a doctor, a man of position, he came to part uh, on, uh, on their part. And I uh, told him to make him understand in the course of my uh, discussion that there are so many uh, uh, big signboards, uh, big signboards. But if the auditor goes in, they say the company is bankrupt. So Ram Krishna Mission, Bharat Sarasana, Congress, uh, they are um, giving relief work to the people, doing good service to the people. A big signboard is on the office. But if uh, a real auditor goes, to check what sort of benefit they are doing. They say they are all bankrupt companies. <laughs> no capital, <laughs> but only show. And then it is gone. Uh, Siddhanti Maharaj, uh, who has got a mat here at the Calcutta Puri, then in his weekend, Madam Maharaj, that is Hagri Bhammachari came, we were with Prabhupada in Puri, and he gave lecture and quoted such examples. Uh, that very example, and that was out in a, uh, an article in Nodiya Prakash. Prabhupada read it. Uh, Siddhanti, uh, that is Siddhastar Brahmajari, 
he can put good analogy. <laughs> this economy uh, uh, analogy that the others are giving, the Mozart, Madhav Mahal. You know, this is Pizar Maharaj analogy. Uh, and this, uh, uh, in Madras, when our Guru Maharaj was, uh, would go there, we are arranging for some procession from the station to the north. I went to visit the leader of Boy Scout, a Marathi gentleman, some comment. I asked him that we are making arrangements for many things to follow the procession. Uh, uh, we like if your Boy Scout also can join our procession. No, no, that is only for social work. We have no religious program for us. We don't. And ours is also social. How your is social? You do only religious side to take up, no social work. <laughs> I gave him an analogy. Suppose, what is this? You are the human species. Cow species, dog species, so many species. You like the we shall uh, we shall uh, help the dog society uh, uh, retrieving them that they will be dog always. Uh, dog society. Our ours is that if there is possibility of the dog to come to human society, uh, we shall mm, take uh, our service in that line, uh, to make the dog, to take uh, the dog up to the human section, if possible. Then what sort of service would be more useful? In the man, of course, if it is possible to make the, to take the dog to the human society, that will be more appreciable. Uh, the hour says that, like that. Hmm? And you want the dog will dream and dog, and he will suck them. I will have known that. <laughs> In that, one gentleman, one who will care, you, if a man is dead, you do not go, uh, like Ram Krishna Mishan, you don't uh, attend the patients. But if he is dead, to whom will you preach? He came with this <laughs> question. I told that suppose there is a famine and I have got some quantity of food, I am distributing and all the crowd is there and I am only distributing the food. But if someone flies away, uh, run away, should I stop my distribution and run after him to fetch him? Then again I shall distribute. But the whole crowd is there. Hmm? I am doing that important business. If I stop distributing, then so many will be losers. <laughs> Why I should take? Hmm? So many men, but some man dying. Then what if the matter dying money going away from my uh, uh, sight? Then why should I uh, engage myself in another engagement without distributing the nectar? Uh, that will be bad economy. In this way, whatever. <laughs> One time I went to an education minister there. I guess for the recommendation later, we shall go to your district um, for preaching. We want an introduction later. No, no, Samiji, hmm? there is village, and you must learn Tamil, then you can go and uh, preach there, but you're in English, you can't preach there. <laughs> he told like that. I told, suppose uh, I am uh, running through the uh, street of your village and a boy is drowning in the water, in a tank. 
Sudah go to London. But anyway, I shall try to make understand that he is dummy. What should we do? <laughs> so we shall we are looking with that importance. The man is dummy. So any man, any interpreter, we shall catch there, and we shall give them to our feelings uh, to help them uh, in this way. Whatever any opposition is to come, I could put in some analogy in a different way. There was one ICS, hmm? uh, the king of Jaipur, Orissa, he promised to pay uh, for the, uh, the cost for the construction of the Madras temple. But he told that, um, I do not know, the new Dhyan ICS he has come, go to Lajaji. We would please approach him. He will pay you the money. I am only signing. I avoided that uh, it is that is a young ICS newcomer. Mm -hmm. uh, the, if I approach him, it, the, the, some opposition may come. But the king has signed. This will be uh, more useful for my part. But repeatedly the king, he, he, he asked me to uh, see the dawn, and uh, I could not avoid, I approached him. He uh, flatly refused, what do you say? This is the, generally the Santas, the jungle people, hmm? <coughs> they, they are in fact, half clad, and the uh, uh, poor men, and the, from their revenue, if anything is surplus, I like to uh, uh, expend them for their benefit. And you will construct a temple, and that also in Madras town. If you could Built within their area, then also I could consider this. Sometimes they would have recreation there, uh, my religious uh, talks. But in Madras, and this hut, uh, and the last man to, uh, to help him this way. And the king has given the signature, you see. Oh, he was the man work, working on the street. Uh, this is Radha Krishna and the others, because they took bribe, one lakh of rupees every year for the Andhra University, and he has been put into the throne. And the real heir, the wife of the late king, uh, he, he is in, at Lucknow now. He is the real heir. A man on the street is put on the throne by the Radha Krishna and the others. Yes, there is a control, uh, conspiracy because they could have one lakh of rupees every year for the university upon the high. You please try to dissuade the king from contributing uh, every one lakh to the university. And who will pay the money? They are the poorest of the poor. And this way disappointed me. Then I thought that I had almost lost the thing. Anyhow, I collected courage and uh, gave him a uh, good blow. Victory is on. And uh, in, within, I am uh, calling for the help of Guru Maharaj. I am frustrated. Uh, if you come to my help, then it will not be possible. <laughs> yeah, within, I am praying for, for himself, and outwardly I caught him like a tatter. So, the big reason to me was about who is the one to be seen. So, then we do not turn in our thoughts about night to day. Bhaktim parang bhagavati patidam bhakamu patidro ganga shuga pohinu tiyajuri no dhiro. From Bhagavatam. Okay.
him, I told him, with the deep impression, of course, because I am frustrated <laughs> at that time, body. Uh, but I told him, you see, when I was a hog, I devoured a hillock of stools, but my uh, hunger is not appeased. When uh, I was an elephant, I devoured a jungle, uh, but appetite is not quenched. So appetite, mm, uh, our hunger, is not appeased in this way. Uh, as much as we get, so much my thirst is more and more. Shahasri chati chati, shahasri lakhami yati. Lakhadvastatu rajyam rajyastatu. So Shukadir Goswami has diagnosed this thirst, this hunger as heart disease. And that heart disease can only be cured perfectly if one can adjust with Krishna Lila. Uh, listen to the Vijabodhu Virirancha Vishnu. Krishna's pastimes with the themselves of the, of the Vrindavan. If one can attain and adjust uh, and harmonize him with such thought of such pain, then only this heart disease is cured for you. Otherwise, it is not a deal in the uh, very um, uh, or mental, it is a very deep rooted. Uh, it is the nature. Uh, and if one to be fully cured, anyhow, this touch the heart of the man. And the drops, this, uh, uh, okay, your tears. And uh, you are a little white with the tears, so the heat all. Swamiji, you believe me, I have faith in God. And your eyes are the witness. I saw. Yes, I shall give you one. But not now, I shall send you. She asked me to go here. Maybe she ought to give you In this way, the analogy. Many analogies. <laughs> Gold hoodie bowl, gold hoodie bowl, gold hoodie bowl, gold hoodie bowl, gold hoodie bowl. So I was very intimately connected in my life of preaching with this Madhav Maharaj who was Hagri Bamhajari. A tall, fair, and robust health. I can't believe that he has gone. And about eight years younger than myself. And he used to come to me at least once or twice in a year. And with this complaint, all through, you are deceiving the educated public. That was a general complaint. You could help them, but you, you are because you miserly habit. I prove that to his love. I do not know much, but I push forward. Whatever little I know, I want to take it from door to door. You know that I am, I am not a scholar, or I have not such capacity or intelligence. Still I try my best uh, to carry out from door to door, whatever little I know. But you are doing injustice. That was the general complaint. And when any serious uh, problem, he used to consult with me, what should I do? When opening any new center, he used to consult with me. Whether giving sannyas or taking sannyas, all these important matters, he used to come from me to consult. 
Eso así es Nietzsche. Y anda, y anda. And when he invited me to his Calcutta meetings, I used to almost visit every year and to deliver lectures there. And they appreciated my that. I took that chance that I'm not doing myself, but Calcutta, that is a place of education men. And there he I did that Musawa he used to uh, convene. And uh, almost every year for those five days or six days, I went to I know there and uh, I spoke whatever I could. I knew in this way. Go to the bowl, go to the bowl, go to the bowl. It's high, go to the bowl, it's high. Mahaprabhu, go to the bowl. How was your Sankirtan? Uh, you were going on the party and uh, preaching and collecting funds you were mentioning earlier with uh, Madhava Maharaj, and then you would uh, send all the money. What would you do? How do you approach people? Uh, well, we suppose. We, we went to a place on this station, on this uh, uh, station, previously some sort of invitation uh, uh, we had. And otherwise, we went to a, uh, to a place and stopping at the station. Mm. Some was out to inquire the, uh, the, uh, who is the religiously minded man here. Then, after having some sort of information, we uh, used to saw with him, and uh, then he went, he wanted us to take your bed in I am arranging for you. Mm -hmm. Stay. And then we, uh, uh, some handbills, we printed uh, and circulated, all by drum beating circulation. Lord Yama people has come, and they will convene meeting in such and such place. And Bhagavat Paspartam, uh, explanation of Bhagavatam, in someone's house or in some temple, uh, you all come. In this way, two, three days program, or at most five days program. Then after that, we took them, who are the benevolent persons and who can help for this purpose. We approached him, we have come to you, I do uh, give one jewel uh, to our mat, uh, on that particular mat, you will take, take the, uh, bear the cost. Or oh, the big grow will be installed there, you please be at the cost. Or oh, there will be uh, in Parikama, uh, so many mm, people will gather and a huge expenditure to give some rice. Uh, or one day's uh, expense, you please be at. Or in Mayapur, so that a uh, cooking room is damaged to repair with that, some money is required. Or you uh, uh, had passed to publish an uh, edition of Bhagavad Gita, or this book or that book, in this way, some, some sort of service we mention, and we have a collection. And for temples, bridges, water, <coughs> room, books, in this way. Or the land in some place, and I get it. Go, 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 go. In Bombay, while preaching, one gentleman, an officer, a Bengali officer, of course, main officer, oh, you have come out 
for collection, but he was all rich man. <laughs> he told. He was, he was all rich. Gaudiya Mahatma is very rich in institution. Why should you collect? Yeah. I told him, yes, when you see that we are rich, at least you see that we spend money very extra- extravagantly, is it not? <laughs> uh, yes. But we say that uh, we are beggars. Beggars. And being beggar, we spend money uh, very ex- extravagantly. Uh, uh, what a rich man can do, a very uh, a big rich man, he can spend money in that way. Excellent. But we say that we are beggars. Now your point would be, uh, that what, what uh, in, in which we spend money, whether that is unnecessary, it is extravagancy, or that, that has got real necessity there. They are the difference, not that we are rich. Your point would be that the beggar, why he should spend money like what are in these things which we consider to be luxury. Suppose a doctor, hmm? he has not much money, but still he runs on a motor car. Uh, a man will see, oh, uh, this, this is luxury, but we, we may not think like that. A motor car uh, saves his time, takes him to many patients in a short time that is help to the society. So we also may use motor car or some such vehicle or thing to approach many to talk about uh, God consciousness, God consciousness, which we think that is the real service to the society, uh, though we are penniless. As in this way, and uh, we are decorating the uh, uh, duty in a very luxurious way. We are distributing prasadam uh, profusely, what a rich man cannot do. Uh, begging. By begging, we are distributing prasadam to so many. So, uh, spending money. But money spending does not mean that one is a rich. A poor man also can do. Now we have to try to understand why uh, we, uh, what is think redundant, and we consider that to be very important, important, and we stand for that by being. That should be necessary for you to understand that we are rich, uh, so we are spending. Not, not principle is that. Yeah. And they say, Was the time? Nine o'clock? Yes, five past nine. Are you talking about it? No. Are you talking about it? No. Are you talking about it? No. There was uh, uh, in Prabhupada's books, it is mentioned that uh, as one feels uh, in a certain point of our spiritual life, one feels natural attraction towards uh, one type of relationship, one ras. Then yesterday I heard that uh, uh, the initial ruchi we feel is the result of our previous karma from previous lives and of present. There's two uh, fine, two lines of dealing with the team. One, in the crude form, we can't know uh, the, which, which, which is our inner attraction. So, it may differ. In the beginning, uh, when we have got no real connection with the innermost tendency of our heart, then the change of faith is possible. And in the higher realization, also it is possible, but that is very rarely. Very rarely, 
that is inter interference of the higher. Interference may come from higher. It is possible, but it is very, very rarely. Ah. Possible. Generally due to non de defect into the detection, such things happen. Misreading. Generally, in general case, due to misreading of the inner tendency, such diagnosis is made. This is the general case, as we find from one branch to another branch. Mostly, it is like that. And uh, real mm, change in the spiritual uh, realization, it is very rarely possible by the intervenience of the superior power. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Maharaj, huh? how did Bhakti Siddhanta and Lalita Prashad differ in their ideas? Who are you? Buddhi Jog. Huh? Buddhi Jog. Buddhi Jog. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur has no recognition for Lalita. Prasad. Though physically his younger brother. We read in Nadia Prakash article that he has, in the beginning, Lalita Prasad was living with Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. But gradually difference came between them and he left our Guru Maharaj and they went straight to Bhakti Vinod Thakur's birthplace, his maternal uncle's village where he was born, and he attended uh, there to uh, found a separate, not for his own center. And at that time, our Guru Maharaj wrote that he has gone to worship Urui Chandi, Uda is the name of the village. And that there, the specific uh, duty was ka Kali, Shakti, Chandi. So he has gone to, to serve Udai Chandi instead of Krishna. That was the mark of our Guru Maharaj. And also, later, sometimes later on, his remark came, that he is fond of his Baba, father, and not of Radha. He sees Bhaktivinoda Thakur eh, in his physical affection that is not out of him. That uh, eternal respect that he is commanding his heart and to render some sort of service, he does not understand what Bhaktivinoda Thakur really was. That was the finding of our Guru Maharaj. The Sulai Chandi, though he is worshipping Mahaprabhu and that, that is Ulai Chandi, that is Bhog, when there is, uh, we do anything hmm, uh, uh, for some exploiting, exploiting purpose, then that is really that is the service, service of the uh, external material potency and not of Krishna consciousness. Kama stesti rizagana pravadyanti onno devata. If the uh, want of sincerity, your heart is not cleared of the uh, <coughs> undesirable things, vannavilash karma gyan, etc. So it is told that he is doing, he is a shakta, that is, he is worshipper of the shakti potency or exploitationist. So he, wa he was looked by our Guru Mahārāj in that way. The, the, his, the, the material affinity to his father, father that is the uh, 
uh, underlying motive which is pushing him to this apparently religious uh, uh, duties also. That was the opinion of our Guru Maharaj. Once when I <coughs> entered Mot, all from outside, and visiting. I heard our Guru Maharaj to say one day, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, what is the one man asked, what is the position of this Hakta, worshippers of the potency, the physical potency of the Lord? He told that they are materialist. Their position is that of materialist. I could not took that uh, word immediately to be true, sent person. I came from a Shakta family. I heard and I saw in books that the Maya is also called Chaitanya Rupini. Chaitanya Rupini. Chaitanya Rupini. Chinmayi. He is uh, uh, conscious. She is consciousness, I heard. And now he told that they are materialist, they are atheist, those that are worshippers of potency. I tried to come to some adjustment. His words cannot be neglected. And what I have gone through, the Shastra and God, that, that is Chinmayi, Shakti, the potency is conscious. And he says, the worshipper of the external potency, uh, they, they, are, they are atheist, they are materialist. How to harmonize? Then I did more trust to Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur's study. Why he says materialist? Then I came to this understanding, the materialist, that is Hakta, they, their opinion is that Shakti, potency, is the most original substance. And the consciousness is the outcome of that potency. Potency and the consciousness, Purush and the Prakriti. And when Prakriti which is not purusha or not conscious, that is held to be the most ultimate, and the consciousness comes out of it, then of course that is material fossilism. So Shaktivad is mm, fossilism. So our Guru Maharaj's remark to Lalita Prasad was of that type, that he is reference towards Bhakti Vinod Thakur and through him towards Mahaprabhu that the origin of that is material connection of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. He says, Baba, Badha, Radha. There was one article in Gaudiya. Bhakti Vinod, I see, that is, that is the opinion of Prabhupada. Bhakti Vinod Thakur should be seen as Radha. But he could not see as Radha there came some badha means hindrance. And then the next is Baba, Father. So his endeavors hmm, towards Bhakti Thakur and through him towards Mahaprabhu, the, the basis was his physical connection. That was stressed by Bhakti Siddhanta Swarasuri Thakur, and we are followers of him. And in another time also, he, does, he is engaged in the worship of Ulai Chandi, that the uh, deity Kali, who is supposed to be the presiding uh, goddess of that uh, town. Uh, his his uh, energies are devoted only for that. That is also connecting with materialism, and not pure spiritualism. He once remarked about Shishir Ghosh, who uh, uh, wrote Lord Gaudango and Omiya Nimai Chorit and many things about Mahaprabhu, editor and the founder of Omitabhajar Patrika. 
and then a prestige and a, a, a renowned man. Nijo Hoge Gorilla Gourango, Prabhupada's remark. He has constructed Gourango uh, uh, shooting his own enjoying purpose. Nijo Hoge Gorilla Gourango. Gauranga, as it is, Sami Maharaj written, Gita as it is, hmm? and the Gita as seen by so many scholars. Eh? Independent of that, that eh? he tried to guide the readers of Gita, the Gita as it is, eh? the Gauranga as it is, as he is, and the Gauranga as we want to make, eh? create our created Gauranga, that mental concoction, Gauranga. The Gauranga may be different. So, we must hear hmm, in a, in a uh, bona fide method, and then we shall, uh, we, we, we shall guide our eye to see and then to produce the form. Uh, not to, not to create by our own mental prejudice. prejudice. Uh, that is one thing. We, ma we should try our best to get out of our prejudice and samskar, samskar, and to go, mm, to catch, try to catch what is independent of our missile um, or so many like us, the mental concoction, the mics mm, conception. So Gauranga as he is, Vrindavan eh? Krishna consciousness as it is, and to create Krishna consciousness in his own mental way, these things would be different. We shall always try to sensitize our mental representations and to catch what is already there. These are, this is, um, in other words, as Guru Mahathir told once, when we take the name, we shall not encourage our mind to uh, see a picture. Mm -hmm. Because he says that whenever anything comes to mind, other senses uh, go there mm -hmm. like vulture on the cremation ground. On the whenever some sound, Oh, I say, oh, I, I, it must be of such color, such figure. The uh, touch, oh, it may, may be touched in such a way. Like vultures, all other senses will run and uh, fall on it with their own impression. But say they, they should not be given any chance of doing that, doing that. The sound will produce its own roof color, color of figure. And then the, the goon, the quality, not uh, like the quality that is found here. That is diametrically different. Uh, such nam, namna, rupa, rupa, then goon, then parika, then lila, all these things, the chetan, that will come down, that is of different type. And this mundane experience uh, won't be allowed to uh, cover what will, uh, is expected to come down from the other world. So our prejudice, our samskar, our mental mm, tendency uh, to, uh, 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 to place before us that I know anything, I know everything, uh, oh, it is of that type. The, the mental uh, tendency, prejudice will come out and you will uh, 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 stand on your side. Oh, it is known to me to a certain extent, it must be like that. All these are hindrances. They must not be allowed to do so. Uh, we shall try. The name I have got, uh, what I got from my Gurudev, uh, that is, um, a different, different original or that of a revolutionary type of thing, sound. I am to concentrate to 
cultivate that only, and that will gradually uh, assert itself uh, in uh, a particular Ganeshan Rub Gun Lila, and I shall find my own soul as a unit in that system shown by the name. And that is another world, not the world of our own experience and conception or inference or something like that. That is pure spiritual consciousness. And we shall dismiss all our empirical attempts uh, to go and, uh, and modify. Uh, and that, that will be, uh, the progress will be hampered that part. So, Sevan Mukhehi Jivado, we shall engage in the service that will come from the Vaishnava quarter, and thereby the prejudices will die and clear out from our mind without food. Uh, whatever initi initiativeness is taken from the mind, that will f feed the mind and uh, uh, help it to continue its longevity. So only we shall carry out the order of the Vaishnava, the Guru, and according to my fortune, uh, higher Gurus, uh, Guru of higher level, by obeying his uh, orders, uh, I shall be able to imbibe that and my present existence will vanish gradually, the mental existence. A new world will come before me and I shall find that I have got my individual position there in my soul and all the mental system with this body they will uh, evaporate, they will vanish. And only my inner soul and I will find there uh, that, that will, the light that will come. The soul is there and unity is there and the whole world, new world will come. Will come in view and I shall find that I am there represented in such and such position. And my present conception of my own existence with ego, with mental system, with body, everything will go ahead. Something like that. Go, go, go. We have an imagination. And some will have to speak something. And when Nima is requested, he can also speak something. Yes. And then the distribution of prasad, and then he may come very. Hare Krishna, Gold, Hari 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 I wanted to know, you could tell me if it's true or not. And it's about um, Mirabai, famous Mirabai, the woman devotee, and Jeev Goswami. Uh, so you don't know that. So, so far that we know that Mirabai uh, devotion is that of um, some you know, mixed type not a real type of devotion. <laughs> because our devotion only confined to Krishna and not the any mention of any devotees. The Krishna, where it is mentioned on the, about the, only the king, that is imperfect. King means so many ministers, generals, eh, queens, all these things. King is not one. So Krishna is not one. The Sarup Shakti is there. And that is real Krishna. And the other Krishna is a Krishna creation, mental creation, concoction. That is a reflection of Krishna, maybe in this world. Where we can see, cannot see that Krishna is uh, with his, in different Russia, he is uh, 
uh, who is hmm, surrounded by different subdivisions, groups of subdivisions and different groups. Mm -hmm. That is Krishna real. Mm -hmm. True Krishna is, is of that conception. That is in Sharup Shakti. Otherwise, in this um, area of uh, Maya, uh, the Shatyagun, uh, the Krishna has come, and I, I am the Krishna. And the Krishna is uh, surrounded by his Sharup Shakti Sabbitas, that is real Krishna, Chit I mean, in the transcendental world, in his own position, Krishna is such. And by crossing, without crossing them, without caring to see them, our, my direct contact with Krishna, that is a dream. That is imagination, maybe imagination, not a reality. So, Gauriya Mahat people hmm, and their Azharj and their consideration cannot give such only so many sentimental, emotional, that may be, but at the bottom, but the foundation is uh, wrong. That feast, the sentiments, uh, mm, uh, uh, cannot give us Krishna. The world is sentimental, feats. But Krishna is not alone. And without, uh, through, uh, without uh, mm, submissive, Submitting, submitting uh, to his devotees, eternal devotees, we can never approach him properly. The proper approach to, uh, towards Krishna cannot but be through his devotees, mm -hmm. not, not direct uh, contact or contract to get him is possible. So, direct service of Krishna never possible um, for the Tatastha uh, Jiva Shakti. So their direct service would be to the servitors, uh, the servants of the servants. Uh, to the servant of the servant, the service, that is realist, uh, realistic conception of Krishna, service of Krishna. Yeah. Otherwise, that is imaginary. Uh, it is not measured by the amount of tears or amount of dancing or so many feats. Yes. They say that um, she took initiation from Jeev Goswami. Uh, no, we don't find that. In the Doha, in this songs of Mirabai, uh, such things are not present. So we, they are connected, they are connecting. Some connects and some things no. He also insulted Jubh Goswami, see. It is told that Mirabai came to uh, see Rupa Goswami. And Rupa Goswami at that time, uh, perhaps he was in a particular mood, he told that I don't like to see in, a, in any reality. Then she remarked that, oh, he thinks himself to be a, a man. I think the only man in Vrindavan is Krishna, and all else are women. With that remark, she went away. This also uh, I have mentioned in Bhakta Mahavrantha, and uh, that is not very authentic, that Bhakta Mahavrantha. The collection of many devotees, uh, lives of many devotees of different types, that's not very authentic. Uh. Yeah. Maharaj, I've heard that she is a gopi in Chandravali Sahib. Huh? What? Because I've heard that she's a gopi on Chandravali Sahib. Uh, no, we don't, we did not hear it and we don't, didn't do not uh, accept it. Because in that case, she will have to give 
श्रीकृष्ण चंद्र बोली गोपी नंद जशोदा वृंदावन सो मेनी थिंग्स मस्ट कम फॉर हार्ट प्रिज ओनली कृष्ण इज द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ हार्ट प्रिज एडमिनेशन एंड ऑल एलिमिनेटेड सी कैंट सी द ग्रेटनेस द नोबलनेस ऑफ द परफेक्ट मीडिया ओनली कृष्ण दिस इज आर्टिफिशियल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी माई डिवोटी बी कैम डिवोटी ऑफ द डिवोटी वन हु इज द डिवोटी ऑफ द डिवोटी ही इज माई रियल डिवोटी एंड आई कैन रिकॉगनाइज द ग्रेटनेस द नोबलनेस ऑफ द डिवोटी ऑफ कृष्ण एंड डिमिनेटिंग देन आई एम गुड एंड द कृष्ण इज गुड एंड ऑल एलिमिनेटेड वट इज दिस <laughs> no no better person than myself only krishna and myself and all the limited and this is uh, uh, madness hari krishna hari next <laughs> Maharaj, yeah. is opulence yeah. is opulence money an indication that Krishna is being pleased or served properly in a temple if there is money and many devotees <laughs> and so on? That is not criterion. Money is not criterion, and if by Krishna's wish money is also blessed in the service, that also may be. But that is not the only criterion. Even Swamitam Goswami, when he uh, put into Radha Madan Mohan only uh, uh, quantity of atta, uh, uh, and the, only putting into the fire, and the, he is offering to that and taking it. Bhavagrahi uh, Janardana. it does not this no does not accept anything material but what the devotee uh, offers uh, him with his own earnestness that earnestness is taken by krishna the bhavagrahi he is chetan and the uh, his spiritual and the spiritual element that in in uh, worshiper uh, what he gets uh, by the uh, offerings uh, is not just that his inner tendency is accepted by him not the out, outside that is a tale that there was one devotee in puri madhav das He was a man. Uh, he was a devotee of Sukhdev also. So much so that we are told one day, Jagannath says, "Madhav, I shall go to steal jackfruit from the garden of particular panda. You have to follow me." What is this, my lord? Your <laughs> asking. Uh, all right. What do you have? I must uh, carry out. Then uh, that night, taking Madhav, hmm, he has come into the you know, garden of jackfruit, and Krishna went up the tree, and he is hmm, snatching and fell, fell. And there was sound. The panda came out. Who is that? Still in my fruit, jackfruit. Can Krishna leaving his? Uh, uh, over cloth in the branch, he ran away, jumped and ran, away. and the young man found this madhav. Oh, you are that certain? Eh? At daytime, hmm, you uh, sit by the side of a road and uh, beg, uh, 
and uh, you are a big sadhu, and at night you have come to steal my jack fruit, eh? get a good beating. Then what? Krishna took me, hey, Krishna took me, Jagannath took me. Jagannath came to steal with you, uh, you fool. Eh? <laughs> you want to convince me that. That is uh, his feet, you see. Oh, you have stolen all of the over cloth of Jagannath. You have stolen. And you put there. And you want to be fooled me. Eh? That you have taken. And with both, took him to the king. And of course, good beating. beating. Eh? Then Jagannath gave dream, dream to king as well as to the leader of the priest. Mm. The I went uh, with Madhava mm, to steal uh, jackfruit and the Madhava is beaten and uh, I have taken all those beating in my body and please arrange to uh, apply some medicine on my body. Mm. <laughs> then there was a great uh, uh, <laughs> upset. And Madhav is uh, really such a devotee. Jagannath himself giving dream both simultaneous to the king as the leader of the uh, Pandas. Eh? Then Madhav left the place. It's going to be now. Hmm? Now people do it song to see me that I am hmm, such a high devotee. I want to be able to tolerate all this that I have. Uh, uh, and it is told, written in Bhaktamal, that Madhav, when uh, collecting some this fried gram, uh, he offered it to Bankubihari, their temple, and he took himself. And Bhumikubihari uh, is, of course, Devi worship, that arrangement, the Bhog, love, everything. But at that time, the uh, yes, um, Sarvita of uh, Bhumikubihari, he was of a um, high uh, type. And he could feel Bhumikubihari uh, is satisfaction after Bhog. <laughs> that day, he says that Bhumikubhyadi place is not very peaceful. He has not taken anything, it seems. Then he told, I, I must have, have some flaw. So again, he prepared new Bhog and again blessed. Then also, after hmm, some short time he removed, he came to see the face of the deity and found an uneasy. The deity is uneasy. So he began to cry. Eh? I am so sinful, my things are not being accepted. My Lord, why my Lord, what is this? What shall I do? He fasted, I can't eat. I can't take prasadam. When I feel that Bhankubhyari did not touch it. Then, uh, without taking food, he is lying on the bed. And in his coma, he says, he sees, he sees that Bhankubhyari told that it is not your fault, but mine, hmm, mine. I, I do not uh, feel well. I feel sick. That mother of my devotee has come from Puri and he has uh, offered me that uh, jana, that fried gram. And uh, I took that uh, in such quantity that I can't. I can't eat anything. <laughs> the full belly, uh, full belly I took, and I, <laughs> I, I felt sick. 
So, the external grandeur is no criteria. Uh, only pride, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, gram, hmm? that may cause so much pity that he becomes sick. Bhavagrahi uh, janardana. Bhavagrahi. Then there is another story that of that mongoose in Raj Shiva Jagga. <laughs> the mongoose only rolled in a, in a uh, pot where a Brahmin was fit at the time of Durviksha. So, so much degree of sacrifice was only perhaps, uh, rice or bread for uh, two or three years. Uh, but the degree of sacrifice was great. And in the ratio, so many collection, mass collection from the kings and the big Yagga, uh, gorgeous Rajoshik. Uh. So, Satik, Rajoshik, Tamoshik, the Yagga of three kinds in this world. Anyhow, our, our devotion uh, is comfortable for the Lord. Uh. Prem. God is fond of prem, not an in external grandeur. Rather, grandeur may go on to little extent in Vaikunt. In Vindavan, especially, they are all subterranean, not fond of any God, God justness, plainness, simple and the prem, devotion, love, sacrifice, uh, affinity, uh, surrender, that are the wealth admired in Vrindavan, special. So what's the time? Quarter to ten. Huh? Quarter to ten. Uh, I like to eat, yeah. 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 Yeah.